Hi, I'm Chad Henderson, head brewer at Noda Brewing Company. Welcome to the brew stand. Uh, this is where the uh, process really kind of starts out for us as far as making beer. So our system is a four vessel system, uh, which means there's four processing tanks. First uh, step in the process is uh, right before we actually start the mashing process itself. Our first job is to basically crack open that grain, but all that happens behind us here at our mill. Uh, the mill cracks the grain open and it feeds it to a grist case, which is basically a large tank. And it's got a conveyor system on it that's gonna send that uh, cracked grain over here to our mash mixer. And, and then hot water hydrates the grain at a set temperature so that we can hit a, uh, a very specified temperature for what we call sacrification. For hop drop and roll sake, it's about 4,100 pounds of grain, so it's a very large grain bill. Usually it stays about an hour in here before we decide to pump the entire grain slurry over to the second vessel in the process. This is our louder ton. First thing it has to do is recirculate the wort over itself, which is the grain bed itself, uh, to, in order to clarify the wort. We take samples of the, of the wort, make sure it gives us the right sort of density of sugar that we need, the right pH that we need, uh, the clarity is what we want it to be, and we start the actual laudering process in which we rinse or sparge the grain with hot water and send the wort over to the bowl kettle. Once the grain is fully spent, the rakes inside the system will actually drop some plows down and spin and push all the spent grain to a silo out back where uh, the spent grain is then picked up by a farmer to be taken to cattle locally here in, uh, at a farm in, in Charlotte. The boil does a couple of things. It caramelizes or recondenses the wort. Uh, it sanitizes the wort for us and also allows us to isomerize alpha acids and hops that we add to it. That little spray above. So today we're brewing hop, drop, and roll. Uh, it's our number one selling beer, and uh, it uses quite a bit of hops in it. We use holy pops of citra in our hop back, which gives us a really nice, pure, oily, citrusy character to greet you with on the aroma and first initial taste. And uh, all the rest of the hops we use are in pellet form, except for our bittering hop, and it is actually an extract that allows us a lot more consistency in uh, getting the right IBUs from batch to batch and also allows us better storage and, uh, and shelf life for that addition. So as the boil winds down through the hour, we will uh, we'll throw some hops in at the very end of it to be more flavorful and aroma forward uh, because they're not in there for the boil quite as long and the oils are more intact. And then we send at a high rate of speed that wort that's finished boiling after the hour is done into the whirlpool. So it spins at a pretty high rate of speed and that centrifugal force that happens makes so all the solids gather up in the middle as we draw the clean wort out of side ports. Uh, to send over into the fermenters. And that's where the yeast is gonna start to feast on the sugar and make ethanol, which becomes alcohol, which becomes amazing.